Hi, welcome to I Heart Blind Bags. So I'm going to try again to do the Hello Kitty Cafe. Last time I tried to do it, um, my phone actually froze up on me for some reason um, at about nine minutes. Um, so actually, I know the lights aren't on in here. That's just so a reflection won't be on the tablet. Um, but I did put um, some of Marissa's um, Fashion Mashems out. Um, and we actually do have um, Hello Kitty um his tail is no longer attached he had um a little tail i think this is chocolate um uh, might be the name of the cat um and she did have a tail it was very skinny though so i'm surprised it actually lasted as long as it did but i think just recently she was playing with it and the tail came off and then this one's kind of scuffed up as well um this is hello kitty in like a bear costume um but these um are pretty fun um they have like i think water inside them to make them kind of like squishy um and then some don't have water um like our barbie ones um are just kind of more of like i don't know if they can kind of suction onto something or um if that's just how they look because we have uh monster high as well and then of course the dc superhero girls have feet um and yeah they're not like super squishy um i would say when they say mashems they tend to be more on the squishy side and if they say fashions they tend to be just more of like a figure um so and then i know we've bought some also that come with like a little uh squishy pop they call these i think we first saw these with like my little pony um, but we've got a Batgirl and we have a Barbie one. Um, so I think those were at Target. Uh, I don't really see them so much anymore. They were like, you would get a Fashion and you would get a squink, uh, Squishy, Squishy Pop. Um, I was trying to remember what they're called. Uh, together. Um, we have a PJ Masks. Um, recently, I think there are some Shimmer and Shine ones. Um, which we eventually have thought about trying. We also are really interested in the Exploding Kittens um, to try out one of those um, for a Mashem or even a Blastem. The Blastems are pretty fun. We did a dinosaur one one time. Um, I think it's at a grandparent's house now. Um, but you get to um, kind of pop those, um, if I remember correctly, and it kind of grows in size. And those are like really squishy. Um, so definitely recommend those. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get to this. Um, so this is really cute app. Um, it's just very overwhelming. Um, and I think that's because we're on day 403, it says. And then I think right here is the amount of coins we have. Um, 30 coins. Um, so it's not much coins because I'll show you guys. Like if you wanted to level up your character you need a hundred um and i'm not sure if it's showing that video thing i think you can watch a video to earn um coins but it might only be money i'm not sure because i don't typically do that kind of stuff um just because uh i feel like there's enough commercials i don't really want to watch ads if i'm playing a game um so we have all the characters except for, oh, I'm already forgetting, Kiki. Yeah, this one, the blue hair. I think he's a boy, um, but we have Lala. And Lala, I think, is the only one, ah, if I can exit, who I think is on level four. I think all the others I've gotten to at least level five. Um, so that's the best I've been able to do for them so far. And then here are, you have seven chairs and you have nine tables. And then let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven um, choices for them to order. And then you have the bathroom. Um, luckily, since we have so many characters, we have Karopi is just always at the cash register. When you first um, download this app, I think you're only going to have maybe just Hello Kitty. And then she will have to seat people when they come in, take their order, go make their item, bring them their item. And then if they only order the one thing, then you have to go to the register to take their money. And then you have to clean their table. Um, so there's a lot more to do the less characters that you have. Um, and then you can also change the tables. 
Um, I don't recommend getting the ones that are coins just because those coins are really important for like leveling up um, your characters. And then as well as that music machine um, that they give you will play music um, and will keep your customers happy. So like if you, um, if all your tables are full and all your chairs are full um, and you're trying to get people's food made and there's people at the door, if you play the music, like people, um, they won't get upset and leave and then you don't get their money. Um, so a lot of them do cost coins, but some are money. Um, so I have um, some of those. I could swear I probably bought I thought I bought like everything that costs uh, money before, but it's not showing them all. Um, so I'll show you guys. You just click on it and it will change the tables, um, chairs. Uh, again, let's see what we have. Because again, I thought I bought all the ones that cost money. Yeah, I thought I just bought those pumpkin ones like the last time I played, but it's not showing them for some reason. Let's see. What else do I have left? Oh, I like the flower ones a lot. Okay, so we can change them all. Of course, then they don't have a back, so, but I don't think they care. Um, in real life, I don't know how comfortable those chairs would be. Um, and then you can also change the windows over there. Um, and again, I could, I think I bought that pumpkin one, but it's for some reason. So it's weird. You'll buy things and then sometimes it's like it doesn't remember. It'll take your money, of course, but then like it doesn't uh, remember when you come back to play. So, um, there's definitely a little bit of flaws, uh, with the game. So let's see. Okay. I changed. Oh, okay. That's cute. Um, and then you can change the floor too. And I think I own most of these. Um, so let's see. I'll scroll through them real quick. So it's saying I'm using that one. Hmm. Let's see. Let's change to that. Okay, so, and then you can go up here and say ready. Let me go ahead and turn the music. It's kind of good to have in this. Um, just so you can know, uh, hear the music playing from the music box. So we're gonna seat this person. Go ahead and seat him too. Oops, and that person, oops. I got a menu already going. So I just always click all of these foods down here <laughs> to get them going. Um, and I'm not sure if I'll make it through a full round because this game uh, gets so overwhelming. Oops, I gotta drag this person to the restroom if I can. Okay, we are already got full. Okay, so I put the music on just so I can get some of these people seated. And, oops, take their order. Okay, the music doesn't play very long, like maybe 30 seconds. I don't know, because it's already stopped. I'm gonna try to get it to play again. There we go, okay. And then I gotta bring coffee over, the like, custard. Uh, what else do people want? Ice cream, nobody's ordered cake. There's the fruit, bread. Okay, oops, somebody else needs the bathroom again. So you have to drag them in there. Let's go ahead and play the music again. Okay, so I've got more tables available again. Okay, I'll take more orders. Okay, this person wants fruit, the person wants coffee, uh, the like soda. Let's see, oh, there's somebody wants cake. Okay, let me play the music again. Get the food made. So, yeah, very overwhelming game. Um, it actually came on this tablet. Um, and we probably wouldn't keep it except for I spent $20 on it to try to make it less overwhelming. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, the more you play, the more it levels up and gives you more customers. And then it becomes uh, more overwhelming. So, yeah, that music, I'll have to time it sometime. It seems like it's, like, maybe 30 seconds. Okay, that person needs a bathroom. And then I think they're usually done with their table when they go to the bathroom. Some more ice cream, the purple, that, bread, I gotta get more stuff made, ice cream, let me play the music. It's hard sometimes to get to that music box too. 
Okay, that little sound was we are closed for the day, but still a lot of customers to take care of because I believe they give me like 66 customers right now. Oh, okay, so let's see. Oh, of course somebody needs ice cream. Okay, oops, and I need custard made. Oh, okay, the red, yeah, right there. The people are not happy. Um, so... Okay, I'm surprised I didn't run out of the music yet. So it only plays, I think, 11 times for me right now. And I need like 100 coins to get it to play just one more time. Because it definitely does help to play it. So you can get your customers' orders for them. Clean those tables. Okay, how many people? I can bring one more first. Come on, to a table. Okay, play the music. Okay. Phew! Yeah, this game! <laughs> uh, I wish we could get it to maybe kind of have slowed down so that it wouldn't be so overwhelming. Because we have like, um, oh, that was the last music. Um, almost all the characters are only missing Kiki to help us. And it's still like, uh, very overwhelming. All right, so I have no more music, so I don't know how much more patient the people will be with us. Okay, and a lot of times, okay, let's see, that person's got red, so let's get some theirs. There's, oh goodness. Ah! Okay, cake, fruit, um, does that person want coffee, bread? Okay, somebody wants custard, I got one over there. I gotta make more stuff. Okay. And then the drink. Oh my gosh, all those customers over there are probably gonna leave. We've gotta get them to some tables. Okay. Oh, take the order. Okay. Phew. All right. My arms are getting tired. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Nope. Oh, the person needs the bathroom. There's that. That person wants cake. Uh, let's see. Oh, custard. Oh, sometimes it's hard to drag it over there. Okay. That person wants fruit. Oh, I don't have any bread made. Okay, ice cream. Okay, bread is made. There you go. Oh, goodness. Bread, okay. Of course, everybody wants ice cream. I got coffee. There's an ice cream. Make one more ice cream. Phew! Oh my goodness gracious. Oh goodness, they want something else. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to make coffee. Oh, okay. Hope I didn't need it though. Alright. Alright. Phew! Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. So, ooh, oh, okay, I did not do so good. <laughs> 29 people left, like, unhappy. I only satisfied 37 customers. Um, so I made $10,602. In $10, um, so see, the next level requirements is... What in the world? I think that might be like a million seventy thousand, if I'm seeing it correctly. Um, experience? I don't know if that, I don't know what the 4,346 means. So that was today's report. So we have $68,293. Um, EXP is 106,159. Day 404. So we just did day 403. Um, let me see. Let me go to this. I'll show you guys real quick. Um, so let's see, if we wanted to level up, our cash register is $128,000, which we don't have. Um, same with the tables, just, and that's per table. So there are, I think, nine tables. To level them up to level 10 would be $128,000 times nine. So it's um, definitely expensive. We definitely, it would take so long to get that amount of money. Um, all seven chairs, again, would cost $256,000 each to level up to level 11. Um, the music player, 
So I've got it to play 11 times, but to get it to play 12 times a day, it would be 100 coins, and we only have 30. Um, so we need like 70 more. Um, and they don't give a lot of those. Um, and then I think the bathroom to level that up costs money. Um, I think right now all the desserts cost uh, money. So that's all seven desserts just for a $7 profit. Um, so it had to be played quite a bit more um, to level things up. You have like everything's at like a high amount of money. Um, so it's unfortunate. Um, I spent $19.99 um, to get a bunch of the coins and that was to buy the characters who I think cost like maybe about 300 coins or something to buy. Um, and then they cost even more to level them up as you guys uh, saw. Um, so um, definitely some pros and cons to the game. The con is definitely like that it, it it takes so long to make the amount of money to level things up, takes so long to get those amount of coins to level things up. Um, and it definitely gets overwhelming to try to serve all those customers that they give you um, the more you play. Um, but I would say it's um, still a cute game. I like all the characters. I like the, the foods um, when you play. As you level them up, they do change. So our foods have been the same for a while. Um, but the cakes, the ice creams, the bread, the uh, fruit plate, um, I think they consider that purple one like a soda, the coffee, and the like flan looking dessert one. Um, there are different, every time you level them up, um, it'll be a different kind of looking dessert. That's kind of cool. Um, music player, big help. Um, and that's pretty cool. You can change the chairs and the tables and uh, the window setting and the floor. Um, so definitely things I like about the game. Um, just the big con is that it just, it's gotten very overwhelming and trying to achieve the goal of making enough money or coins to level things up is kind of just, um, seems like at a loss. <laughs> um, so that is probably my biggest complaint with it. Um, so anyway, hope you guys enjoy. That is called Hello Kitty Cafe. Um... So it looks like that. I don't recall who is the maker of that app. Um, and then I have no idea if it's like, that could be like old in need of an update. Um, if not, I would say it's in need of an update just because I think the game has gotten kind of overwhelming and they should maybe figure out how to give people more coins and money so that they can keep up with how much it levels up. Um, so yeah, so whoops. So yeah, these five apps right over here are the ones we've spent money on. So Hello Kitty Cafe, I spent $19.99 on. Shopkins World, I think I only spent like $3.99. Um, I have a receipt for that anyway. I don't recall what I bought though with that. Um, I'm guessing maybe the little secrets area since that's kind of new, but I don't remember for sure. Smurfs Bakery, um, of course, was only $9.99 because Budge Studios is pretty reasonable for if you want to download an app and then unlock everything on it they tend to be um, pretty good price um shoppy style of course i spent 14.99 to unlock a lot more dolls for her and then berry rush um i unlocked most stuff in that like all the outfits and the pets and a lot of the characters and a lot of the um leveling up of things um in it whoops um Oops, what am I on? I'm trying to. <laughs> um, so Barry Rush, um, I think I only had to buy uh, four characters on there with their pets for like $6.99 each. So it wasn't too terrible considering they let you unlock a lot of stuff with um, coins. Um, and then of course I'll try to show Miss Hollywood and the Strawberry Shortcake dress up. Um, it seems like people pretty, um, liked the Hello Kitty lunchbox and the nail salon, um, and Strawberry Shortcake Sweet Shop. Uh, definitely gotta get to the Holiday Hair and the Barbie Magical and the Puppy Palace. Um, Puppy Palace and Miss Hollywood, I think, are a little bit similar, if I remember correctly. Um, I actually like, we don't have enough space for it on here, I like the Disney Princess Palace Pets. 
Um, they give you, I think, two pets for free, and then you can unlock another one um, with puzzles, um, I think, something like that. Um, so I think you get a total of three pets for free. I actually think that's probably the one of the most fun ads for taking care of pets. Um, and then definitely Strawberry Shortcake Dress Up. Um, I'll definitely try to show that one uh, fairly soon so you guys can kind of see a comparison um, of what you thought of it versus like Shoppy Style. I want to say I like Shoppy Style better. And then of course I've got to show Masha in the bear. <laughs> so lots of things to still share on here. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.